You approach this planet. It is named this planet. <laughs> this planet? It's I, like Firefly. I feel drawn to approach it for some mystical reason. You're kind of on the run. I made some bad decisions in my life. <laughs> yeah, you, maybe a ship that looks just like yours. Herogen in the past have gone after these Kazon. We've been a little bit combative, let's say. You've raided their, their supply lines. You've taken their stuff. Something about Voyager being a pain in the butt. Voyager kind of has a uh, tendency to do that. Yeah. So, there's problems. There's problems mm -hmm. between the Herogen and the Kazon. I can imagine so. Herogen kind of take issue with a lot of people. And uh, you're just... Well, you're going to have it out. Let, let's let's do this. The, I have been threatened by these worthless prey, and now they're going to see what they're dealing with, taking on Herogen. Uh-huh. So, before anything happens, a roll of a d4 and a d8 for me to know. Oh, and okay. you to find out later. Let's uh, toss me in there, then. Let's, uh, a three and five. So, a three and a five. It's not, not terrible. Could, no. have, could have been better, could have been worse. Okay. So... The way things work in this game, scanning is kind of the default find out more stuff in this game. Scans are going to give me more information that I didn't know before. And when you scan, you can scan specific things or you can scan overall. Okay. And when you scan specific things, you still have the scan token. Yeah. But if you scan specific things, you will learn more about a specific thing. It's more of a focus thing. Like, yeah. I'm trying to scan the planet to figure out what's up with this planet, TM. Yes. Uh, whereas if I'm scanning in general, I might find things near the planet in my rear, things just around me in general. Mm -hmm. I can deal with that. So, that is just the way things work. So, the, the Kazon set up in a pretty standard attack formation. Uh, the Kazons look like they're coming right at me, so clearly the best bet is going to be to use this planet to my advantage and see if I can maneuver around it in such a way as to pick some of them off without getting in direct conflict. Mm. You say that now. I do, I do actually. 3v1 is not great odds, even though I am the clearly superior Herogen. First, I am going to perform a scan action on the moon itself, see what exactly is going on with this planet moon hybrid thing. Which is it again? This planet. This this planet. That's right. I'm scanning this planet. It, it may actually be a moon. It, it is a celestial object currently. I roll a sixteen for scanning this planet. In fact, you find that it is in fact a moon. Oh, so. Whoever named it, named it poorly. It was a very poor explorer indeed. But it shall still be known as this planet. This planet, the moon. Edition. So you find that it is mineable. Interesting. Which uh, you can do by uh, lowering your shields. Oh, that sounds like a trash idea. Uh, and when you do so, you get to roll a d20 twice and uh, export the higher number of minerals to your ship, which shall be redeemable for awesome things later. Okay, so... Uh, furthermore, you also learn that this is an ancient planet. Moon. Interesting. Hybrid thing. This planet is an ancient moon that once housed alien technology. Ooh, I like alien technology. I'm an alien. I like technology. Uh, of an ancient race that is now extinct and no one has heard from in over an eon. We've got eons going back to these ancient alien races, and they might have technology down there, so clearly that's going to be profitable if I can afford the action economy against this fleet. Mm. <laughs> if I can afford lowering my shields, which, as a whole three ship, is not necessarily the smartest move. Well, probably not. Are you sensitive? I am indeed going to be activating my named ability and pulling off a four freezy sensor echo. Okay. At, uh, with a one maneuver dive, maneuver template, and uh, that is going to be my turn considering I took a scan. Okay. Let's return that and set dials again. A stalking maneuver, activating stalking mode to hunt down the uh, Kazon Raider 
to my rear. Okay. Uh, that is going to reduce its captain skill by two, including one extra attack die when attacking it. So now I have captain skill advantage on all of the ships, so I have that going for me. Mm. And, of course, since we are here, we are going to be... Hmm, are we going to censor Echo? Once I put down the uh, token, I can't actually decide not to, so... I think we're actually just going to leave it at that. Oh, okay. Centering Echo probably is going to put me in a position I don't want to be in too terribly. Great. So, at the end of round two... Oh. But wait, there's more. There is more. Yes. At the end of round two, a mysterious object appears. It's like a regular object, but slightly more mysterious. It is a roll of a three on the d4 that has gone down. This mysterious object is coming in right behind the stalked Kazon Raider. Yep. Interesting enough. That's all. Well, I'm going to have to have a look-see at that in a moment. But uh, before that, we have Kazons to move. We do. Good luck running hmm. now. <laughs> Where to, exactly? That's the point. Uh, in response, I'm going to reveal my two right-hand turn, mm. taking me out of arc and uh, also removing my arc from you. However, that actually doesn't remove me from arc. No. Luckily, it doesn't. Believe me, it's quite clear. Mm. Corner clippage. Yep. Which means I'm actually going to take this time to sensor echo myself into range one. Hmm. So if I can't fire at you, if you can't fire, if you can fire at me, at least I can fire back. And uh, I too am going to be taking the fancy schmancy battle stations. Uh, how fun. And I believe that begins combat. I think it does. Let us roll my four plus one for range one attack dice. Okay. And uh, see what this little Kazon uh, Raider thinks of that. Sure. Uh, a decent result. I'm going to be spending my battle station to convert this hit, and my Alpha Herogen Captain allows me to convert a blank result to a hit, resulting in four hit results. Okay. I'll be rolling three defense dice. Three defense dice? Yes, yeah, that's, that's my captain. Ah! Things you don't know ahead of time. True. Three oh. defense dice. Can't cancel the whole result, but with the battle station spent, we'll be able to cancel half of it. Nah. Going we'll cancel to the one and two shields. Two shields and one damage and going one. through to the hole. That is the attack. Mm. I think they'll shoot back. I believe they will too. With uh, three dice. Three dice against my two defense dice. Keeping their battle stations for conversion quality rather than for defensive yeah. quality. Because why not? Because they're nihilistic. Uh, not that they needed it, of course. Yeah, darn. We have one of eight, meaning half my shields are going to pop right here. But uh, I'm not out of it just yet. I'm just trying to soften me up a little and bit. And I believe that enters us into round two. Uh, three. Three of it. Yeah. Not too terribly eventful, but uh, things happen. So, after this, no. you learn that your mission objective, should you choose to accept it, is to destroy at least one Kazon ship and then escape through the warp gate. Interesting. I am not necessarily tasked with destroying the entire set of Kazon set before me, but at the same time, I do at least need to score one kill before taking my leave of this place. Now, I'm going to have to eventually pick one of these ships and take it down, but uh, I've got some time before anything really needs to get done. I still have five of my initial seven health remaining, and of course I always have uh, advantage. Can't quite escape just yet, since I haven't uh, taken down any of these fancy mother-loving Kazons, but I can lower my shields and perform a mining maneuver. Okay. 
So, you have nine and or 17. 17. I'm going to choose 17. Thank you. Okay, much. now with your 17, uh, you also have a tech rule. Interesting. And uh, I should say it's nine and four special tech, or it's 17 and one special tech. What is special? Oh, special tech being alien technology. Well, special, special stuff. Special. I am going to actually take the 9 and 4 rather than the 17 and 1. Okay. So, 9 and 4. 9 minerals, 4 special tech. Four, 4. Sometimes uh, you. Planets can be mined 4 times. 4 times maximum, minimum, 4 max. times max. Max. And then they are depleted. Interesting. So you have gone for nine and four. All right. Uh, are you sensor echo? I am not going to. Ooh, wait a minute. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Let us move slightly back. Within what range of the planet do I have to be to perform a mining maneuver? Uh, range one. Range one of the planet. Got it. Okay. I will tell you, there is more information to be gained about something. That's there. fine, that's fine. I will take my time. Um, do I use that? I don't think I do. I think I instead lower my shields and perform a mining maneuver. Okay. Right, mining so, action. do you want 14 three. and 3? 14 3, that's both four. Three and three. Do you want 9 and 4? I'll take 14 and 3. I did. I have one, one of the other. So. My opening volley, range one, should be. Definitely range one. Yeah. I'll trade you that, you give me the range one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You are range one, three. Uh, I'm going to be firing with my. How many? Uh, I wouldn't know. I'm going to be firing with my five primary weapons. At least one. Oh, that, that's not bad. My captain converts that, and I'm going to spend my battle station token to convert that to a hit. Cool. Roll one. Five hits. No defense. No, I get to reroll that. Do you? Yeah. You're, you're a jerk. It's my captain. I. Hey, look, it's an event. Okay, so two shields down, two damage to your pool. Look, there go two shields. Hey, I'm not dead yet. We're gonna keep this one, because apparently that one's lucky. Alright. Alright, so this guy's gonna shoot. This is the, the wounded wounded knee. Mm-hmm. So it only gets two attack dice. And it has nothing special on it. Great. I get three defense dice for range three. That is enough evades to avoid it entirely. You just said nothing really matters. There we go. Okay. We have a one reverse. I love that reaction. <laughs> yeah, we'll just use this ox power token because. Because this one's doing a two forward. Whew, that is. Oof. <clears throat> Can I repeat? Oof. I mean, technically, this one is first. So. Let's. Uh, and, and they'll both do that. Let's get rid of those ox power results. Yeah. We. Ah, uh, we have a three left hand turn. Huh. Have fun uh, arc dodging that. I uh, don't believe arc dodging is going to be the thing that is uh, going on here. Mm -hmm. Closest point, luckily, which means I am sensory echoing myself out of arc of him at least. And this is going to be corner to corner, which is definitely through the planet. Uh huh. Yep. Darn and taking innovate action. This planet, stop it. Okay, range two, four attack dice. That's all we've got. Mm -hmm. 
Is it? Don't don't mess with me, Dave. You already told me he's an evade captain. Is it? Is it really all we've got? It's all we've got. Is it? Are you? Are you sure I can't use sure. the secondary weapon that You're I using have the secondary weapon that okay. I can uh, roll five attack dice? Are you going to use it? Yeah. Okay. Because I have an extra attack dice out there. Yeah. But you might want to defy that out of your rear arc. Yeah. Three hits. But, but now I have three hits. I roll an evade and a battle station result. I spend my evade token and my evade to cancel two of those, removing one more shield. Yay, shield. But I am I may be down, but I am not out. Yes. Mm. Now is the uh, interesting planning. Okay. I am uh, going to be performing a three left hand turn. I don't know if you've noticed a pattern or anything. Yeah. It's like you're running away or something. Yeah, no, I mean uh, I will give you that impression. I don't know the fact that you're running away. Uh, that might do it, actually. Uh, going to be performing a sensor echo maneuver. It's here. Like, mm -hmm. Cannot perform the sensor echo there. Yeah, you can. You've got room to oh, swing that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank the Lord. Range two. And performing the battle station. Uh, the uh, <laughs> not the battle stations. <laughs> not the battle stations. Uh, go ahead, Dave. All right. So skill five gets uh, two lovely attack dice. Oh, hit crit. Double of eight. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not arc. Set. Yes. Four attack dice at range two again. Okay. Fine. Should be range two. Very certain. Very certain. Yes. Let's uh, remember your target line. No, I mean, you don't have to. I, I mean, I don't want them splitting up there. I do. Uh, hit, crit, crit, or hit, hit, crit. Sorry. We have an evade and an evade spent, meaning that is going to be my last shield down. No crits to my hole, Dave. Fine. At least I took out your shield. That's true. Once more to <laughs> the bridge. Uh, and then this guy is doing a two hard turn. Yeah, no, no. I think you got that. <laughs> We've got maneuver templates all over the place. Yeah, it, is, it happens when you're it's playing. It's not in the it's not in the way, and we're moving fast. Oh no, the captain abandoned ship. Let's uh, tuck him on there. Uh, action beam. Yeah. Uh, hold on. That's the one that's actually injured. Yeah. They'll uh, actually attempt to target acquire a target. Good grief, we are seeing a uh, lot of use out of that monotanium armor plating for you know, to making the target block yeah. fail. Okay. And uh, for my move, we have a four straight. If you've got it, Dave. We all set? Yep. Here we go. And that is also going to lead directly into a sensor echo. Put those about behind there. my planet. <laughs> no, this planet. Behind not my planet. Not my planet at all. This planet. And, um... No. Not quite. Barely. But not quite. Yeah. And uh, that is going to be a scan action on the uh, fancy schmancy this or that. Okay. So. What you discover. Mm -hmm. When you scan the gate, is that by tuning it to different frequencies, you can actually cause it to have a funnel of sorts, a directed funnel. So, your current scan did nothing. Great. But, future scans, if you could tune your sensors to ping it, you could actually cause essentially a swirling vortex to actually envelop a ship. Uh, anywhere on the map? Within mm -hmm. range one to no, three? No, within like range one. It would be... Okay. Stick. 
So by yeah. performing a sensor yeah. action, it, it a would, scan action, I could cause it to perform a vortex that will deal damage, deal... Yes, deal... Well, actually, you don't quite know what it would do. Hold on, actually. <laughs> it would... The ship would cease to be a problem to you. Okay. It would no longer be on this map. Any ship that is uh, sucked up by that thing is not going to be around much longer. Yeah. Got it. You don't know if it would be destroyed or not. Not necessarily. But it wouldn't be here. <laughs> don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Yeah. That's the notion. So. Uh, and, of course, this can also be rotated. Interesting. Uh, it stays put. It just turns. Got it. So if anything gets close to that... Understood. Let us proceed to the next round. I have set my dial. And you only have to be within range uh, 1 to 3 to within activate. Within scanning range, basically. Yes. It is time for me to stop running from your entire fleet and uh, run from just most of it. We are within range 3 there, so we are going to be firing 4 attack dice with our auxiliary power on board. Okay. On which one? The only ship within range, the injured Kazon Raider. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a hit. Great. The Battle one. stations cannot be converted by my captain. Right. I can only convert blank results. The only are 4 defense dice. Yep. 4. Two normal, range three in the cap. That's true. See that? Oh. I'm like, the captain's yep. almost fired. Okay, you've got uh, two attack dice against me, range three. Yeah, you get three defense dice. Nope. What have you got? Uh, hit. No, crit. Crit. That's an evade. <sighs> Your captain was almost fired. All right. All right. Oh, okay. So, uh, point of game method. Uh, you learn as an additional mission objective, or an alternative mission objective, I should tell you. Yes. That you do not have to go through the gate. Uh, if you destroy all the Kazon ships, you will be presented with a looting mission. Interesting, interesting. Now, that may not be in your best interest right now. Given the uh, state of the board. But your shields would come back up between missions. That's important. So, shields are kind of handy. You, that's something to keep in mind. Yes. But after you destroy one, the gate will be yours to go through. I will have that option open to me. Uh, and it will still be yours to go through at any point. So you do not have to make that choice yet. Yet. Let us begin. Uh, let us reveal our dials. Uh, three bank. And don't put that away. Because... Alright. They will take battle oh. stage. I am shocked and a little bit appalled. Don't worry. <laughs> I have a feeling that they're not going to be around. They will also do a three bang. Keeping that auxiliary power. Uh huh. Don't worry, it's all good. And then this ship will, one guess. Uh, let's see, three bang? No, that would be a four, no, <laughs> three bang. No, I'm sorry, it's a four come about. Interesting. Uh, you may have just buggered me, Dave. Mm. Okay, they will attempt to target lock you. Yay! Is the day. <laughs> Dave, you have buggered me. Uh, are we out of target locks? Uh, we are. Yeah. Someone. Yay, it's right here. Okay. You you, go ahead and move. You've put me in such a position that my one bank is actually going to bump. Yay! Oops. So, we are going to be following along up until this point. <clears throat> oh, that means I don't die. That is correct. 
Uh, we are looking at a range one. Nope, not a range one. Please. Well, in that case, uh, I will fire at what I perceive to be the biggest threat, being the. You know, this ship already has damage one damage down to one hole. That is damage down to two, having two hole left, three hole left. Yes. Yes. So you're firing on this. I'm firing upon the predator. Okay. Four hits, impossible to survive. Don't care. One of them is canceled. We have a hit, a hit, and a critical result. Minor hole breach. Okay. Let us remove him and uh, see how royally shafted I am. Now it's going to this one. There we go. As Slightly. It, as it attacks, it goes whoosh. There, there is a whoosh. There is, in fact, a whoosh. Okay. So, this ship is attacking. Correct. And it's going to roll dice. Yes. But the moment it goes to roll dice, the gate activates. The gate activates and, and whoosh. Sucks it off the board to some faraway location that I will not know of. Okay. So now, now we move a bunch of stuff. Correct. We are left with a Z target lock remaining. Okay. So now. Yes. Now. My shields are all gone, but my hole is intact. Okay. So now this attacks you at range two. Yes. And we roll. And you actually get re-rolls. You have a target lock. Yes. And I'm going to spin my target lock. There you go. So I re-rolled them both. I scratch my head. And you scratch your head in wonder. Okay. So, we got the dots. Now, you can escape. That is, that is correct. I would highly advise. I have a uh, stalking mode on this guy, meaning I roll one die on every single attack. Mm. I got a set. Yeah. Reveal. Wonderful. Let's get rid of that nasty, nasty auxiliary power. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright. Action? Mm -hmm. Not gonna target lock me? It was so effective the first time. Yeah, you mean like the first seven times? <laughs> <laughs> we have a uh, three come about. Mm. If you would, Dave. That's gonna. Use up your auxiliary power. However, it is going to put me in arc with six attack dice. Yeah. Range one bonus, primary weapon value, and stalking mode bonus. Sure. Uh, that is going to be four hits going through. Two battle stations results, which cannot be converted by my captain. I'm going to roll two defense dice. One evade result, so three damage. Okay. Both shields gone, one damage to the hole. Oh, darn. Hmm. Three attacks. Three attacks at that range one. Hit, hit. <laughs> that is the one of eight I need, giving me one damage to my hole and one crit, which is a warp core breach. Okay. That's how we're doing it. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see, how do I uh, pull this off? For the love of all that is good and holy, would you please leave? Uh, that is certainly the intention. You know, you only have to be within range one to say you're leaving. I do only have to be within range one. You just I thought I was going to have to land on its dial. So it's the planning phase. You should roll an attack die to see if you oh, blow well, let's off. Uh, see what happens with that warp port breach. Nothing just yet. Okay. Okay, I'm doing a one bank. Dave, you, did, you, did you bugger me again, Dave? It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm blaming you if you did. At the very least, I... You have a two straight, right, Craig? I do. It's green, right, Craig? Yes, but it would put me out of range one if I used a two straight. You have a sensor at that after true. it, That's right, true. Craig? Let's see what you did. 
for your action. It does, does it really matter? Yes, it I does. also escaped through the warp gate. Where you're going, I'm going. Uh, it's your action. You're escaping. As, as this, your action? This sensor gate jump thingy looks fun, the Kazon captain says. Okay, so is it the Kazon is warping away? Also flushing out to greet its fellow Kazon raider? Mm -hmm. I am performing a one bank because reasons would not have bumped would have given me the uh, ability to foosh out. And uh, foosh out I shall. So, now you have a couple of options. You can, options from here. You can uh, eject your warp core. That sounds like a reasonable decision. Yeah, the warp core is uh, skedaddling. Of course, that text will persist. Oh, for, okay, yeah. Until uh -huh. you get it fixed. <laughs> good, good, good. So the rest of the game, uh, ignore the first paragraph on all warp core breaches, and I cannot take maneuvers greater than one. So, you're limited to one. Indeed. For yep. this campaign. Yep. Until you find until a new I warp core. Until I find board. a way to fix my warp core. Okay. So now, that there are no Kazon left on this board. Yes. I thought I pushed away. Oh, oh, as I, okay, I, you I see. You did your right. action to, to detonate, or to eject your core. Yes. You are now presented with an option. Yes. You destroyed one Kazon ship. There is one Kazon corpse floating around here. Yeah, so there's a debris field. Uh, so there's a debris field right about here. Hereabouts, upon the course of the Predator. Now, so there's also a couple of other chunks of debris. There's debris floating around this planet. Yeah. You know, maybe it's stuff that fell off of your ship from the battle. Uh, things that were ejected from the attacking and defending mm -hmm. ships. Maybe your warp core is sitting right about there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, so there's some debris stuff. We have loots for that. Hang on. Uh, as debris is there, you just you have the ability to pick up debris stuff. And as you know from salvage, sometimes debris is meaningful, sometimes not so much. But what you know is that it's worth picking up. Sometimes it's just worth it. Because the more you pick up, eventually you work through it. Correct. And, uh... <laughs> Those don't seem fun at all. Eh. I don't have enough mission tokens. Okay. You know you have some in here. Oh. Well, that would be... Why I didn't have enough. Yes, it would. So there we go. Yes. So those are the mission tokens. Yes. Now you can spend your time flying around picking up mission tokens, and there may or may not be enemies that show there up. There may or may not be consequences to my actions. But you pick up mission tokens, and mission tokens would be useful. And you get stuff, things, and for stuff. your mission tokens. Now, you can do this, or you can leave right now. Uh, you can also leave at any point. Uh, at any point, from any point on the map, or through no, the wormhole? For the, through the wormhole. Got it. You, you must... I must make my way to the wormhole in order to skedaddle. Yes. Given that I have an injured warp core, I think that it is best if I find some things that can help me sort that out. It will be difficult to maneuver this uh, place with a broken warp, a breached warp core, but uh, or ejected warp core. Ejected. But I, I can, I think I can manage. Yeah. Now you can also do your sensor echo. Your sensor echo, because that's still a lot. That is part of it. And you can do. Well, three moves on your yep. tile. Do I want to bank right, left, or go straight? And uh, at this point, you know, you can pick up this one, maybe that one, some, and still get out. Some that are in reasonable positions. You can still mine the planet. Yes. 
If you would perform a uh, port side bend for me, left, my left. And then sensor echo me backwards towards the uh, the debris. Okay. And debris does have the standard range one rules. I would assume. And let's uh, loot that. Collect any salvage available to me. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, we have a die result. There you go. You you can roll for your your mission. We have a three result. Great, you're gonna get off. Handy dandy, let's grab that mission. Uh, once again, port side bank. Here you go, roll that. You're gonna do that after every round. I'm just straight four. Four? Okay, you're good. Okay. There's some math. No worries. Uh, once again, port side bank. Okay. Sensor echo backward, port side. Repeat that maneuver. Verbatim. Hold well on. Oh. You're within range. Right? I am, but there's only one mission token. I read that. Uh, you spend there's, the there's no checks based upon grabbing things. I thought it was based upon grabbing things. You just like everyone would die. Oh, well, in that but, case. I mean, you pick it up. I guaranteed it. Here we are. Uh, perform. Oh, wait. Let's, let's take a roll. We have a 13 this time. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so this little guy pops up in the corner there. Yeah, right about there. Coming in to see what is all the fuss. Yeah, you, you heard there was a little fight. Okay. So now you might actually want to set that. Uh, yeah. Now he's still one. Don't, That's fine. Don't worry about That's it. That's fine. The issue being, I somehow need to uh, perform a come about maneuver with no come about available to me. Or a whole bunch of one things. Oh. Uh, specifically, four of them. Mm. So, you better hope you move slow. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, begin. Okay, well, he does a one straight. We're going to be passing that one back and forth. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to perform a one right hand bank, port side, uh, starboard side, sorry. Is this one? Yep. And I perform the backward sensor echo to my port, actually. Because I don't want to fly off the map. I understand. Flying off the map is kind of bad. Kind of. Yeah, Not quite. Put it. Okay. Uh, roll the die. Which, the, the, oh, the no. Dude. We have an 18. You, you chose poorly. I didn't choose anything. Same. Uh, did, did. Yeah, Jason. Yeah, roughly. Yeah, sure. There was really a friend, you just couldn't see it. Of course. I'm not even sure you can see them, but they're there. There, there was a minor sensor echo. All right. Well, they're both doing one straights. Great. One right hand bank. Sensor echo backwards to the starboard side. Other side. Towards the uh, thing. Okay. Back to front, as always. Eight. Yeah. All right, you're good. This one's going that way. Oh. It's separating. Question, does it take my action to exit through the uh, portal? Yes. Okay. And then that one's going that way. Both of which now are within range one of Devis. Both of them are picking up mission tokens. This is Kirk's. The roll. Four? Oh. All of them. Yeah. Two. Oh. Only half. That's sad. And I believe that, uh, this is your turn. Now I'm getting really complicated. All right. I'm going to sensor echo. Closer. Mm. 
Yep. <laughs> like, that way it actually makes it closer. Oh, hey, look, the gate actually recognizes you. And I zip on through. Oop. Yes. You're gone. Well, okay then. Okay. So. That was an interesting, interesting little setup there. Yes, but you got uh, a little bit of debris. That's true. I did collect four debris. That is a fifth of what was off on offer. Yeah. But the broken warp core makes that kind of difficult. Yeah. So here's the uh, the debris. For every uh, for every mission token you have, yes, you can take one SP worth of stolen tech. Okay. Hit the end of the game. Stolen tech being tech that was on Any, opposing ships. Yeah. Or well. Basically, this is Kazon debris. Okay. So Kazon tech. Okay. Now Kazon tech isn't amazing, but Kazons have warp cores. Kazons do have warp cores, but warp cores are going to cost you a little bit more than four. But okay. but we'll say I do have minerals and uh, alien tech salvage. But if you want, so I give you a couple of options. Here are my options. Your four mission tokens will allow you to restore part of your dial. Okay. It will give you back two maneuvers. No, sorry. Your full slate of speed two maneuvers. Yes. And your three come about. I will take it. That is exactly what I'm doing. There's okay. No, nothing else in the world that could be more valuable to me than that. Because you lose, at that point, you lose your three straight and your three My three banks. straight, my four straight, my three turns, my three banks. Okay. So, so you've lost your... I've lost six maneuvers. And I'm okay with that. Yes. So you have spent those, but this is how your mission tokens will play out. Yes. So you will have salvage for a long time at this game. Good, good. Salvage is going to be a persistent thing. Yes. Because it helps. Yes. And you will have other parties that will continue to loot your salvage and fight you for it. Yes. So, you now... I would like to point out that uh, my mission was completed. It was. For, uh, I don't know who gave me the mission, but I completed it, gosh darn it. Your mission was given to you... By an unknown person. That, and I followed it? Yeah. As a Herogian, that sounds very unherogian of me. Well, we are very xenophobic. You thought it was given to you by a superior. Okay. You never quite checked on that. <laughs> Clearly, my captain is uh, less than attentive to detail. Yeah. I mean, let's just say he's no car. There we go. The paragon of erosion that he was. So, you arrive in uh, somewhere in the deep beta quadrant. Beta quadrant. That's that's quite far from home. It is, and uh, you're greeted by a task force. A task force. That is okay. In fact, greeted. You say greeted. I am erosion ship that is horribly battle damaged. Yeah, and in fact. The last time anyone had contact with the Herogia, it wasn't exactly pleasant. Ah, uh, I remember the last contact with Herogia being fairly amicable. They, we uh, helped them deal with their lo uh, loose holograms, in fact. Mm. Maybe, maybe not in this universe. Yeah, some people still remember you uh, running World War II simulations on that, Voyager. We made up for that, clearly. Uh, mm. There was an incident, but uh, I, if I recall correctly, the logs show that the Federation captain uh, that dealt with the incident made full uh, forgiveness to the Herogen. You think that? Uh, that is what the logs of my ship uh, show. <laughs> well, you can take that up with the captain. Huh? Oh, there you go. So, I'm, I'm greeted by a Federation task force. Uh, I wouldn't say just Federation. Not, it's more than Federation. Okay. 
So what am I exactly greeted by? Well, that, that will, that's to be determined. To be determined. We will be back with that on another star date. In fact, that's up to Natasha. 